Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you three different ways on how you can downgrade from Big Sur, Catalina, or Mojave. The first option I'm going to show you is how to downgrade from a time machine backup. The second way is from the recovery partition. And the third way is we're going to create a bootable USB drive with whatever Mac OS we want on it to downgrade from. So the first thing you need to make sure you got is a backup of your user home folder. So let's navigate on over to the Macintosh hard drive into the users folder and grab our home folder and drag it to an external drive and copy the contents. Now that we've got a backup let's do a time machine backup downgrade. So we're going to reboot into recovery partition by holding down command plus R on the reboot. That will take us into the recovery partition and then we're going to be able to choose restore from time machine. Click continue, click continue again. Now go ahead and choose the drive that has your time machine backup on it. And I'm going to do a local snapshot, click continue, and restore it back. And that's it for restoring from a time machine backup. All right, recovery partition downgrade is going to give us three different options. We can command plus R on boot, which will reinstall the Mac OS that it currently has on it right now. Option command R will install the latest Mac OS that is compatible with that Mac. Shift option command R will reinstall the Mac OS that it came with. That's the one I'm going to do right now and it's going to actually install Mac OS Mojave. As you'll see, I'm going to reboot, hold down Shift Option, Command R. And it's going to boot up. I am speeding through this. I'm going to click Reinstall Mac OS and click Continue. It's going to show me Mac OS Mojave. Click Continue all the way on through it choose the drive I want to install it onto, click continue, and that's it. We just installed from a recovery partition install. So we're going to create a USB bootable drive with Catalina on it. So let's open up Safari and um, I've got all the download links down in the description. Just paste it into Safari. It'll open up the page and then open up app store automatically where you're going to click get and then that's going to open up software update pane it's going to say download click download and i did speed through this so you didn't have to wait a long time it's going to download it into the applications folder it's not going to auto launch it because it's an earlier os than big sur so it's not going to do anything with it so now I just mounted my external drive that I want to install it onto. I'm going to open up the terminal application. Once I got the terminal application open, I want to drag that installer from the applications folder into the terminal so that I get the full URL. Then I need to finish, type in contents, resources, create, install media dash dash volume and I want to do dash volumes slash external drive because that's the drive that I'm going to install this onto. Alright, need to use sudo type in yes to wipe the drive erasing and now I'm going to fly through this so that you don't have to wait for the whole time, but it does take some time to do this, like 30 minutes. So then now we've got the drive configured. The USB stick is ready. We're going to reboot and modify the T2 chip security. So reboot with Command plus R for the recovery partition. And then we are going to modify the security under Utilities startup security utility we're going to authenticate we're going to make sure 
that the security is set to medium security at a very minimum and allow booting from external or removable media. This will allow us to boot from the USB stick as we do in our next step. So now reboot and hold the option key so that we get the boot picker. And now we are going to choose install Mac OS Catalina to boot from. I am going to speed through this once again so that it goes fast. Once it comes up, we are now booted to that USB stick. I'm going to open up Disk Utility and wipe the drive. So once I open up Disk Utility, I'm going to go up to View, Show All Devices so I can see the whole container. And I'm going to wipe that entire container. Macintosh HD, click Erase. Done. Quit out of this and now click Install Mac OS to install Mac OS Catalina. I'm, I am going to speed through this again so that it gets through it fast. I wish it was that fast. And then I'm going to fly through the setup, the new user setup, just so we can get to the desktop. Boom. Now we're on the new user. I named it the same thing, the Apple Ninja, as the user. And I'm just going to open up my backup drive of that user folder and I'm going to copy those folders back into the new location so that's all you would have to do to restore your files back to your user folder and that's it you've downgraded your system three different ways um, if you're looking to dual boot your system Mac OS Catalina and Big Sur or Catalina and Mojave check out one of these videos you guys have an amazing week. Take care.